we're Chad and Ashley, and this is our van. And, uh, if you watched our last video, we sold the actual van. We're on the road now. We are currently in my dad's class ARV here. It's a little messy. You can see uh, pretty yeah. much all our stuff is right we, there in the corner. Yeah, all our stuff got packed in here. So everything is a mess or I would give you a little tour, but like it's seriously, yeah, it's, it's almost embarrassing. Looks like a hoarder's so, place because we put everything we own uh, in the living room. Yeah. So. <laughs> we'll have to organize that shortly. We're what, two, three days into the drive back home. We already blasted all the way from Quartzsite, Arizona to San Antonio, Texas. So that's where we're at today. We, First yes. stop, really, other than we did a couple of boondocking at uh, Walmart and rest stops, but first overnight stop here at a campground in San Antonio. And the reason why we didn't do anything in between, because there really wasn't anything in between, and the only other, only one thing I can think of was Big Ben, but that park has become really popular, which it should because it's totally underrated mm -hmm. and it's awesome. So we actually couldn't get reservations there. Yeah, I wanted to go to Big Ben National Park, but couldn't stay in the campground. And so, we've been there before, yeah. and we have a video on it. So And it was going to be really cold for the two days we were going to be there. So we did opt to skip that one. So anyways, San Antonio, that's where we're at now. And I think we're going to pop into San Antonio and see the river walk. And actually, it's like literally a year ago since we've been there. Exactly a year. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, right. I got uh, a notification on my phone. This is our San Antonio anniversary. Yeah, so, so we were here exactly a year ago, and now we're we're back. So that's the plan for today. Going to go explore San Antonio a little bit and uh, yeah, then we'll continue our journey home. Lone Star, the national beer of Texas. And of course, Riverwalk is one of few places with no open container law. So uh, we can grab our Lone Stars here and walk all around. Yeah, Ashley, get an artsy picture. I'm gonna get an artsy shot. Catch it on the Instagram at underscore our van underscore. <laughs> <laughs> following him all around.
well, we got to check out Riverwalk, made a quick spin through the Alamo. We did do that stuff already, but wanted to see it again, and since it was right on the way, uh, we're just doing two nights in this little campground here, and then we are going to hit the road in the morning and continue our journey south. So, all right, let's keep moving down the road. There's that beaver. Yeah, what is that? Is there an outdoor store at Bucky's? Gotta check that out. Well, here's pretty much the only stop we have planned for today, which is to stop at Bucky's gas station. And I think we might actually hit a couple of them today, but uh, it's definitely a must do and a highlight of Texas, if you've never heard of it. And it's basically a giant gas station and this one looks like it might have an outdoor store and they're known for having like 100 gas pumps. This one looks slightly smaller. Maybe the next one will be bigger, but I'll give you a look inside and uh, around here. Ashley, are you happy to be at Bucky's? Yeah! Oh, and there's some snacks they're known for, specifically called uh, beaver nuts. They're like little corn nugget candy things. We'll try those. Well, that was Bucky's Ooh. number one of the day. Just woke up from a nap. <laughs> got, got some lunch there, had some beef brisket sandwiches. They've got like a whole deli area, big beef jerky selection, huge candy selection. They have a lot of food. Yeah. They like, have Mexican and barbecue. Like I mentioned, Bucky's is like one of the highlights of Texas when you're just passing through on the highway, at least. I mean, it, it is a must do in Texas. And uh, we just arrived at the second <laughs> Bucky's of the day. So this one is in uh, Katy, Texas. It's just west of Houston. The last one was about 100 miles farther west from there. I was just gonna say, was it 100 miles? Yeah, about 100 miles. The last one we were at, so yeah. So we just did about 100 miles between Bucky's. This is the second one. It looks like it has a few more gas pumps than the last one, but the inside, I'm sure it's gonna look about the same. So we're gonna pop into this one and maybe grab another snack. And a lot of people were raving about the what is it? Beaver Nugget. nuggets. Beaver nuggets. So we actually got some this time and I think they taste like pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of some kind of cereal, but I don't remember what it was called. A cereal? Well, it, it's like a waffle or pancake flavored cereal. So about like the, the same thing. Yeah. So, and now I'm ready to go try, actually we've tried them before. They're jerky. They have this huge selection of jerky. We'll show you when we go inside and it's cool. Yeah. All right. Bucky's number two time. <laughs> Look at that. Gas pumps as far for as the days. eye can see. <laughs> Gas pumps for days. 
Yeah. Wow, what a beautiful Bucky's picture with the clouds over it. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, and finally, Bucky's number three of the day. Put the town down below here. But uh, won't film too much. I'm sure it's the same as the last couple. All right, well, that was the official day of the Bucky's passing through Texas. And uh, on this journey home, we have officially made it to Louisiana. Just made it in over the border at this rest area welcome center. But he's going for a walk. And uh, that's about it for the night. Oh, good job, bud. Gonna keep on driving in the morning. Probably, I don't know, we're making huge hops. It's a pretty quick drive south. Probably make it all the way to New Orleans tomorrow night. So uh, yeah, I'll probably pop in, give you an update at some point tomorrow. I think we're making it to New Orleans. We'll see how far we get. Oh, and I just walked to the back of this rest area here and look at this lake. Oh, I wish it was daytime. This is probably beautiful. Let's see if you can see anything right now. A lot of water back here. Better watch out, buddy. I bet there's alligators in there. Well, that is going to wrap it up for this video. This is the Louisiana Welcome Center when you're heading east on I-10 and you just go from Texas into Louisiana. Beautiful rest area, definitely recommended for an overnight if you're passing through and uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Catch up with you next time in Louisiana, uh, actually New Orleans, Louisiana. So that's the plan, see you guys next time.